All glory goes to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, Bahasim, Ha, Rekar, Kadus. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and taught me the truth. And peace and salutation to you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe, preaching this gospel and truth and sincerity. All right, you see all the civil unrest that's going on in America and, uh, and abroad because of this this Floyd, uh, George Floyd uh, guy that just died. Um, that's going to lead to race wars. All right. And um, I'm going to start off with Genesis 49 and 8. Judah, thou art, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thou hand shall be in the nick of thine enemy. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. And in the kingdom, we're going to have, we're going to have our hand on these devil's nicks. All right. We're going to have them in, in slavery. Verse 9, Judah is a lion's whelp from, from the prey. My son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. He crouched as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up. And, and the Israelites, they're, 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 they're in a low state. All right? And all of these calamities, all of these people, uh, you know, these these black so-called black men being shot down in the in, shot down in the middle of the streets. It seems like ain't nothing gonna get these uh, two thirds of Israel riled up. All right, but guess what? This may be the la one of the, the straws that broke the camel's back because this situation now you see uproars everywhere. All right, you kill an unarmed man in broad daylight f for no reason. All right, and it got these people in the uprage. So that's going to spark up those race wars. And now you see that they protest is 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 mixed, so called white, so called black, and you know, but that's going to turn. Where it's going to be black against uh so called black against so called white and vice versa. All right, and these these uh killings are rolling rolling uh Judah up. These killings are riling Judah up, man. And they're ready to tear up some shit. And they are going to tear up shit. The most high is going to lose them. And they're going to tear up shit, man. All right? But, you know, two-thirds, you're going to die. It's prophesied you're going to die over here in Babylon. But before you do, you're going to fuck up a lot of shit. All right? You're going to fuck up a lot of Edomites, a lot of Moabites. Right? Et cetera, et cetera. And that's a beautiful thing because, hey man, we've been uh, under this this the so called white man for over five hundred years in in ba in Babylon the Great, all right. So it's time for us to get the fuck out of here, man. And these uh, Israelites rising up is a clear cut sign that Yahweh Simi outside is on his way back, man. And this shit is almost over with. So the men of the Lord are exceedingly happy, man. We 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 wanted to be over with. Why? Because we live a hellful life. You know, we we living in hell, and we know we in hell, and we're at the bottom of the bottom. All right, and because of Esau's continual hatred for us, hey, guess what? We're always gonna be at odds since the womb all the way till this is over with. All right, Ezekiel thirty five and five. Because thou has had a perpetual hate, hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. You know what I'm saying? They have, they have a, po a perpetual hatred for us, all right? For the Israelites. Esau, Edom has a perpetual hatred for the Israelites, all right? When it says, and has said uh, the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, they still doing that. From the beginning to the end, they're still doing this, man. They've been setting our blood since slavery, post-slavery, before slavery, and they're still doing this shit. All right? Because we're under those curses according to Deuteronomy 28. In the time of their calamity which we're in our time of our calamity, in Jacob's trouble, 
in the time of their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord, Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Shit, thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Yeah, you, you killing all these uh, Israelites, all right, in the middle of the street, weaponless. All right, you, they love blood. All right, that's the that's Esau's Edom uh, motive, man. They come according to John ten and ten. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. All right, so these uh, race wars which are popping off. Hey, you got black and white people uh, protesting together. Hey, that shit's about to that shit's about to stop. All right, it's gonna be a big division. Which there's already a major division, but it's going to increase and intensify. All right? But uh, it says, uh, even blood shall pursue thee. So Esau is going to get his judgment. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off, cut off, cut off from it him that pass it out and him that return it. All right? And I will fill his mountains with his slain men in thy hills and in thy valley and in thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. All right. I will make thee perpetual desolate and thy cities shall not return. And ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh by Simeon So Yahweh by Simeon is setting these uh, Edomites up. All right. The same thing they've done to us. It's going to be done to them, all right? But, yeah, it's going to be double. So it's going to be two times worse than the hell that they put on us in righteousness. So we're actually leading into, we're actually in this time of uh, Matthew 24 um, uh, and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. You see? All of these things must come to pass. All right? And now, you see, we're hearing of those rumors, uh, those wars and rumors of wars. And, uh, okay. So, that's happening right now. Let's go to seven. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And we got all of that happening simultaneously right now. All of these things are the beginning of sorrows. All right. So it says, for nations shall rise against nations. That's what we're having. That's what's transpiring now. Judah's getting riled up. All right. And all the other tribes are going to follow Judah because Judah's the head tribe. All these other, all the other tribes of, uh, of Israel are getting riled up right now following Judah, and they're going to go against all you other nations, all right, mainly Esau, Edom, all right, that's our top enemy, our top enemy, and he's going to go down, and he knows that he only has a a, a short time, those days are, 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 are short right now, so he's going to come down like a devil, all right, according to Revelation 12 and 12, he's going to come down with force and kill a lot of Israelites, all right? All right, because of that perpetual hatred that he has for the Israelites. And that's, uh, you know, when they say perpetual, it means continual or forever. So their hatred for us, which were which was from in the womb, they were fighting against each other, and it, it's, it's just forever, All right, Second Ezra, fifteen and fifteen. Well, I'll start at fourteen. Second Ezra, fifteen and fourteen. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yeah, death and destruction are coming to people. The you you know people on this on this earth for for what? Because they broke the law, statutes, commandments. All right. Uh, two thirds are going to uh, get killed on this side. All you other nations are going. To either die on this side or and wake up in slavery, or you going straight into into slavery, okay? When your house by sim your house side comes back, all right. And any any uh uh 
you two thirds that don't want to get down, hey, we're going to bring you in front of your house side and slay your ass. You don't want to get down with the program. All right, this is the king we talking about. He on his way back. And he ain't taking no shit. So woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands. All right. That's the race wars. All right. And they're going to have a weapon to, to kill your ass. All right. Knife, bat, gun. Any of that. In verse 16. This is what happening right now. For there shall be sedition amongst men and invading one another. So these people are going to invade each other's houses. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the co the course of their action shall stand in their power. See? And they're going to be able to do whatever the fuck they want to you. And if you don't have the heads and protection of your how about some your side and the angels. Hey, it's over for you, man. It's over for you. Now, there are going to be some... uh. Men of the Lord that die, but hey, they're gonna come back on they'll be the first ones on the chariot. So it's a win win for the men of the Lord. But you two thirds, hey, you going straight to the spirit world for for two to three generations. Alright, we'll get you back in the kingdom. Verse 17 A man shall desire to go into a city. And shall not be able to. Why? Because martial law is going to have everything set up. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And these people are super proud. Two-thirds don't want to hear nothing about Yahweh by Simeon outside. They don't want to even consider repentance. The house shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And men are going to be afraid. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity on his neighbor. All right. But shall destroy their house with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And that's the time we're living in great tribulation. All right. Pestilence, RFID chip, World War Three, civil unrest, sedition amongst men. All right. All of this stuff is getting worse and it's going to intensify. Even if it looks like it's going down, it's going to intensify. I mean, this is the will of your Yahweh, Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. All right, see? These Egyptians are going to be uh, uh, going at each other. All right? You two-thirds of Israel are going to go at Esau, Edom. All right, and it's gonna be race wars over here in Babylon. Thus say the Holy Scriptures, and and right now the elites on the left hand side are just setting everything up so you guys could be led to the slaughter and be slaughtered. All right, out there trying to uh, protest and beg the white man, the so called white man, for some justice, which you gotta get to. You gotta go to the source. You how about see me how side for that justice? All right, but you, uh, two thirds of Israel, they're rebellious people, and they're gonna go to down to Egypt. All right, woe, uh, Isaiah thirty and one. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel but not of me. Yeah, y'all listen, but y'all don't listen from the men of, from the the Lord. Yahweh by me outside. Y'all don't listen to his ambassadors, the men of the Lord. All right, and they take cover with the covering, but not of my spirit. Yeah, you think Esau is going to protect you. You think his military is going to protect you. His fiat money system is going to protect you. His religion that he gives you is going to protect you. All of that is going to fail. That they may add sin to sin. That they walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked of my mouth to strengthen them themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Right, you should, uh, you should be asking Yahweh and begging Yahweh by seeing your outside for mercy, mercy, all right, and to save your ass. But you are not going to do that because it's prophesied that you can't even understand, two-thirds don't even understand what's going on, man. So how the fuck are they going to get this word?
and, and be able to comprehend what's going on in real life, in reality. No, they fucked up. So they're going to go down with this man because it says, like it says, when hand joins in, join in hand, hey, guess what? You're going to join forces with Esau. You're going to get Esau's punishment, the punishment of the wicked, the lake of fire, the second death. And it can come various different ways. And we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. All right? You jakes are going to be fucking, uh, uh, you jakes are going to go crazy on Esau and these other nations. And the most high, you how by Simeon, how high is going to sanction it. And he's going to, he's putting the spirit on you jakes to get roused up to go crazy on these Edomites. Zechariah 9 and uh, 9 and thir uh, 9 and 12. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Yeah, we're supposed to be turning to this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, these, this, this comforter, these words of Yahweh by seeing our side. Because we're prisoners of hope. We hoping we'll be saved out of this hell. And ushered into the kingdom of heaven. Even to day do I even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. When I have brent been Judah for me, fill the bow with Ephraim, and raise up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, and made thee as the sword of a mighty man. So guess what? When it says uh, Zion, that's talking about Israelites. When it says Greece, that's talking about you Edomites. All right, and we're against one another. All right, and guess what? It's gonna be a a a a, a, a beautiful, terrible, horrible blood bloodbath when these race wars uh really kick off. Okay, when they really kick off, it's gonna be beautiful. But this is why uh, the men of the Lord, we're trying to let you people know that this is not your rest. All right, Lamentations chapter 5, um, and we're going to go straight to, uh, okay, uh, let's start at uh, 1. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us, consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our house to aliens. Yeah, aliens and strangers, uh, Esau, Edom, all right? All these other nations, they're, ahead, they're over us. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows, all right? That's the, that's, the, that's the Israel. We have drunk in our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Our nicks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. You see that? All day, Jake is laboring, according to Haggai, and don't have no rest, man. So you're doing all of this shit for nothing. Nothing. Haggai 1 and verse 5. Now, therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, Consider your ways. Ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earned wages, earned wages to put into a bag, man. So all of this shit that these people think they're accomplishing and everything that two-thirds want to go back to is really for nothing. They be putting the shit in the bag. All right? So come out of this, come out of this hellhole mentally, physically, spiritually. All right, because time is short, and and, and and the grace period is winding down. Micah two and verse ten: Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. See all the philosophies of Esau, Edom. All right, everything he does, man, it goes contrary to how we should be living, according to the law of the statutes and commandments. So, of course, these uh, race wars that's kicking off are, are are prophecy. 
We're in the year of 2020, the year of vision, the year of prophecy. All right. And as you can see, everything is manifesting speedily. So with that, I hope this uh, was edifying for the hopefully to the hopeful elect. And I like to say all glory and praise goes to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, Bahasim, Yahweh, Bahasim, Ha Rikar Kadus. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and taught me the truth. And peace and salutation to you, I came across the four corners of the globe. Salawam.